You are literally about to pack my hospital bag with me. I have not packed it yet and I need to. I am 38 weeks pregnant, which is a little bit late, I feel like, to really be packing and, and fully ready. Maybe it's right. This is my second baby, my second time packing a hospital bag, so I feel like I know what's up. I feel like I could have rushed this if I really needed to. And 38 weeks feels okay because my first baby came late. She was a full week late, so maybe that's part of the reason I didn't have urgency. But I'm gonna approach this video a little bit different than a typical hospital bag video. I love these videos. I find them very comforting and interesting to see what people bring, especially second time or third time moms because you've done it before and you really kind of like learn some stuff you want to bring this time. But the way I'm gonna approach it is first tell you what you truly need. So focus on those essentials to please not forget. And so we can stay focused on them um, because otherwise there's a lot of other like noise and, and nice to haves that come into these videos, but I'm going to start with the essentials. Then I will move into kind of like commonly helpful that you likely want to think about packing. And then the third category will be truly nice to haves. I have maybe five or six things that I am bringing just because it sounds really nice is not necessary and you may or may not want in your hospital bag, but based on my first experience, I'm definitely bringing as like that nice to have third category. Let's get into it. So I am packing, assuming that I am going to be delivering vaginally, but if I have a C-section, I'm also kind of prepared for those um, circumstances also. And with a vaginal birth, my hospital has you stay two nights, I believe, kind of like 48 hours after birth. And if it was a C-section, if it ends up being an emergency C-section, then it would be three. Okay, so kicking off with that category of what you truly need, things to definitely bring. The way to think about this is the hospital can take care of you while you're there, but you do need to get home. So for getting home, you need an outfit, baby needs an outfit, that is seasonally appropriate. And you also need the car seat. You need to install the car seat base and the hospitals usually recommend you or require that you bring the car seat into the hospital and buckle the baby in front of them. This is kind of like a safety procedure that they require before you're allowed to go home. So outfits to go home and the car seat to go home. I have the outfits already picked out here and I will show you, but I'll also mention other things that you need are things like your ID and your health insurance information. If you can hear my husband talk in the background, he has a business meeting going on in the other room. So make sure you have in your wallet your ID and your insurance card or any insurance information you might have access to and just grab your wallet on the day. That will be in your list of what to grab last minute. On my hospital bag, I have a list of what will be grabbed last minute and your ID and insurance card are a must have. The third thing that you might wanna think about is anything that's a prescription or would be really hard to replace that you personally want access to. For me, this is going to be a few pairs of contacts I am packing and a pair of glasses I'm packing because I need glasses and I want to be able to see in the hospital. It would be very hard to replace that on a whim is like getting a prescription pair of my glasses or new contacts. Like I just need to make sure that those are packed in the bag right now. So here's the outfit. Here's what I'm going to wear home. A pair of socks. This is a nursing tank. I do hope to breastfeed. So this is a nursing tank from the brand Auden. I think I got this at Target. I'll just I'll just mention these in the description below so I don't have to spend time in the video showing you each brand. But uh, the tank is so that I can wear this sweatshirt home. I am delivering in March in Boston and it is very cold here. So this sweatshirt I ordered off Amazon, or no, off Instagram. I got it fed as an Instagram ad. It says, I may cry, but I can still get stuff done or get things done. I saw this advertised and immediately was like, I want that for postpartum. It's so funny. I cried a lot after the birth of my first baby just because your hormones plummet. Um, but I can still get things done even if I'm crying because my new baby is here and they're so beautiful. So that's the top. It's the nursing tank and then a sweatshirt over it. I'm also packing two adult diapers for um, my going home outfit. 
And then these are maternity leggings. Currently, they're a bit tight on my belly, so I'm already happy to pack them in the bag because once baby is here, I, you still have a little bit of your bump remaining in the first uh, little bit of time. But these are too tight while I am in my third trimester, so they can happily go in the bag right now. Whatever shoes I wear to the hospital are the ones that I'll just wear out of the hospital, so I'm not packing shoes. For baby's outfit, again, this is happening in a winter in New England, so we need to stay warm. Um, I, For his going home, because I'm having a boy, <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned that, I'm packing a blanket so that on top of him on the car seat, I can keep him warm. And then a hat. So my mom got him this little hat has dinosaur scales on it, but um, hats are really helpful for newborn babies and we definitely need a winter hat because it could easily be 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside um, when I deliver in two weeks. The it's outfit itself, I've chosen a short sleeve that says hello because he's gonna come home and meet his big sister. So I thought that was cute and that's actually a hand-me-down from my nephew. And then just these little newborn jeans. <laughs> I know a lot of pictures are going to be taken when he arrives back home. And um, I thought, you know, jeans on a newborn are kind of silly. But it's kind of like a fancy outfit for him to meet his sister. And on top of the t-shirt and the jeans, I'm going to put this cozy outfit. Oh, you know what's making me realize? I need socks for him. I need to write down socks because his feet are exposed in this. Um, and you're not supposed to have them wear jackets in their car seat, but this is kind of thin and nice as like a sweatshirt. So hopefully they let me bring him home in this and has a nice big hood also. Our car seat is already ready and my husband is in charge of making sure that that makes it into the hospital, but that is set. That takes care of what you truly need to pack. It's get home and also anything that's really hard to replace or find, like your insurance information or a pair of glasses, um, those types of things that are maybe unique to you, but you absolutely don't wanna forget. Let's move into the second categories, things that are commonly helpful, things that are kind of that next tier of not just the bare bones need to have, but um, would be helpful to bring. The first thing you'll hear a lot of people talk about is moisturizing products like lip balm and um, face moisturizer, body lotion. It is really true that you will feel dehydrated, that the hospital is usually kind of dry, and so bring your moisturizers. For me, the moisturizing products that I have already packed are the lip balm. I have this organic peppermint lip balm, my facial moisturizer that I'm currently loving, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream, and also a hand cream that will be by my bedside. This is Aveeno um, with Soothing Oat lavender and chamomile. The next thing in what would be kind of commonly helpful is comfy outfits for you. This isn't a bare necessity because they could always give you outfits. You could stay in the Johnny's, you could be in the hospital materials and gear um, if you really needed to be, but who thinks that that is ideal? Not me. <laughs> so next up is clothing for you. For me, last time I brought very loose pants and that was helpful because my legs swelled a lot after birth. Um, I think it was water retention. The doctors were watching it. It was totally safe what was happening, but my legs did swell. So I'm bringing two pairs of um, pajama pants that are also a dark color. I would recommend bringing dark color and something that you don't absolutely love because th there's a lot of blood and fluids in the hospital stay. So if you have to throw them out, you won't be heartbroken. So I did two pairs of pants and then two tops. My tops, I chose things that, so this is a sweatshirt and this is just a, um, a lighter material, kind of a pajama top. Both of these open in the front all the way down so that nursing will be very easy to access and also um, skin to skin. Skin to skin isn't just beneficial right after birth. Skin to skin is beneficial in the days and weeks to follow. So this is actually a new trick that I'm doing this time. I'm packing things that open all the way down so that when I want to try nursing or if I wanna just hold baby skin to skin, I can fully open 
And underneath these are um, nursing bras. So these are from Target. I love them. I used them last time with my daughter. And so these will be underneath the shirts and I can just open and have those moments. The last part of my outfits is comfy socks. So these are both just like really cozy thick socks that will help keep my feet warm um who knows if i'll use them but sometimes if if the hotel not the hotel if the hospital is too air conditioned it can be kind of cool and i like to try to stay cozy the best i can i'm also packing i just happen to have these i didn't buy these for the hospital but i happen to have compression socks and because of the swelling this time i'm gonna just bring my compression socks that i had in my drawer anyway this brings me to something I have on my grab list, which is a pair of my Adidas plastic flip-flops. So I have them right by the door right now because I usually wear them when I go down in our building to do laundry because we live in an apartment in the city. So I wear those when I do my laundry run. So I'm not gonna pack them right now, but I do have plastic Adidas sandals that I can wear in the hospital and easily clean once we're home, like kind of to sanitize them again. Plus, I can wear those in the shower, and once I take off my clothes, take off my socks, I can just stand in the shower and shower in those shoes also. They serve both purposes, and I'll just dry them off after the shower to wear them again. Adidas flip-flops. If you pack shoes for the hospital, do pack shoes that are kind of bigger or slip-on because again, if you also experience swelling, it's pretty common. You don't want to have to cram your feet into your shoes. You want shoes that are gonna be able to fit even swollen feet. The third thing in the commonly nice to have section is shower stuff. So I'll wear those flip flops in the shower, but it's also kind of nice to have some of your own shower items. The hospital does offer this usually, check with your hospital, but they probably have shampoo and they probably have a bar of soap for you. So you don't need to bring it, but what you could bring would probably be a little bit more enjoyable. And the post um, delivery shower, is life-changing. I loved it. I didn't do anything fancy. Like I didn't shave my legs. Some women pack razors and stuff for the shower. I don't do anything fancy. I just clean myself, but it does make you feel so much better after pushing out a baby is to, to wash your body, wash your hair, do a full shower. So I actually bought this bag new for this experience um, because I really wanted a bag that had because I could keep all of my toiletries, including my moisturizers I've already talked about, um, and my lip balm at my bedside. So when you're in the hospital, you'll be in your bed mostly, and there'll be that table that can swivel over you. I'm going to have this by my bedside, and I really like the fact that it just flops open and I can easily access the things I want. Inside, I've packed a shower baggie. So this is the Glossier um, baggie that all Glossier products come with. And in here I have um, a body wash, conditioner and soap, um, just the bare essentials for an easy shower. In here I also have um, my contacts and my toothpaste and toothbrush. My hospital does offer toothbrushes and toothpaste and all that. Like I don't have to bring my shower stuff to my hospital, but I know that just packing this is gonna make the shower that feel that much more comforting and, and like a normal shower. Other things people will say are commonly helpful and I agree with are things to hold your hair back. So I have a scrunchie here and also a big thick headband and some hair ties. I also am bringing, this is a first time thing for me, but I am gonna bring an extension cord for charging my phone and my iPad, um, which I'll talk about later, but I have the chargers in here. I did find that was annoying last time. I did not bring an extension cord and I only had my charger in it. My phone had to be over on the other side of the room. And honestly, when you're laying in bed and you're um, kind of like up because of the adrenaline or you're just spending a lot of time lounging and healing, it would be nice to be able to use um, a, a phone or a screen to be taking pictures, to be calling people or texting people, even just scrolling social media to get your mind off of the maybe boredom or overwhelm you're feeling. So anyway, having your phone nearby is a comforting thing. And so I, I do have this extension cord. I just got it on Amazon and it's eight, eight feet long. I'll be able to use it, obviously, after 
postpart or after the hospital stay also. Now I'm gonna move on to things that are truly just nice to haves. You do not need to pack these things, but I am in my hospital bag. I would like to mention at this point that I don't pack much for the laboring part of the hospital stay. When I labored last time, I was so in it that I didn't use any of the fancy things that I brought for labor. Um, so I'm just going myself to labor. I found that the hospital needed anything I wanted during that time. I did not need to have my own ball or my own pillow or my own blankets or my own outfit. I actually liked laboring in all of the hospital stuff so that once that part of the experience is over, they just take it and clean it and I don't have to deal with any of the mess that happens during labor and delivery. All of my bag is me focusing on once baby's out and I'm trying to be comfortable for the few days that I'm there. So do think about some things that it would be nice to have during labor. I'm not packing anything for that. I will just be my own self in a hospital delivering a baby in the Johnny. I'm fine with that. So, so do know that about this video is, is I don't have anything crazy for labor and delivery. The nice to haves that I am bringing start with a new, new idea of mine which is a robe. This robe is so red and so vibrant. It's very plush. My mom actually bought it for me one Christmas to wear on Christmas morning. She got it for me and my sisters. I'm bringing this, it's already washed and I'm preparing to wear it probably a lot, maybe even without any of my outfits um, during postpartum. Again, it opens in the front. It's very cozy. It's kind of like bringing your own blanket, um, but it's a wearable blanket. And I do expect that after my first shower, I will just get into this and stay in this for quite some time. I'm also grabbing a plastic bag for dirty laundry. I didn't do this last time, but um, I think it'd be really nice to have. This is a Target bag, just um, somewhere to to put my clothing or items, you know, socks, outfits, baby's outfits that are soiled and will go into the laundry when we get home. Snacks. I did bring some snacks last time and I'm definitely bringing snacks again this time. The hospital does feed you very well. I mean, it's not like fancy food, but they will keep you fed. However, I liked having snacks around uh, for those moments when I felt super hungry and didn't want to have to wait. Plus, it's also just kind of comforting and nice. So postpartum, I brought a few snacks, including right now I've already packed a Lara bar, a Bobo's oat bar, and a couple Snicker bars. These are a special treat. I love Snicker bars. And so I got two in case my husband ends up wanting one. I also have a bag of trail mix on my to grab list. We always have trail mix in our cupboard. So I'm just gonna grab a bag of trail mix in the future and get it in the bag. Um, it's okay if I end up forgetting that, but it is something I intend to bring. It's just like some nut mix, things that I could munch on and snack on while we're hanging out. Next in nice to have is cute baby stuff. While baby's at the hospital, the hospital usually provides everything the baby would need, including swaddles, including outfits, including hats. Definitely check with your hospital to see if this is true for you. But last time, I didn't need to bring anything. They have diapers, they have wipes, they have everything to take care of baby while baby is there. So it truly is a nice to have if you want to bring it. I am bringing some cute baby stuff, including three outfits, I think. Um, my mother-in-law got him this outfit. It comes with a hat and it's just pants and a shirt. I'm also bringing this kind of like footsie onesie that I bought him. It's Gerber, I got it at Target. It just says brave little one. And I think that's really sweet after he is going to be very brave during labor and delivery. So I think saying, I don't know. <laughs> I just thought brave little one was very fitting after what we're about to go through together. He has to be brave for it. And then this is um, just like an organic cotton set, a shirt and pants also. That one I don't know if I'll end up using, who knows. And then I'm also bringing two little kind of like swaddly type blankets just to have while trying to nurse. Um, this is a receiving blanket by Gerber that I bought on Amazon and also a kind of like swaddly type thing. I don't anticipate swaddling him in this, but I do think laying it down on the bed or having it draped over me. Um, as a mom, you really never regret having blankets and fabrics around. So I'm just bringing two, two kind of cute ones 
um, and it all somewhat coordinates or some of them coordinate with each other. So I think, I think it could be cute for pictures because um, you're taking lots of pictures there. You know, you're taking the first pictures that you're gonna send out to family to say, baby's here. And so having just some cute stuff feels like a nice to have. And um, yeah, we're almost at the end here. Other nice to haves, I have one thing that's written on my grab last minute list, which is I'm gonna either bring my iPad or my laptop. I'm not sure which one. I'd rather have my laptop because it kind of stands up on its own, but that would mean I need to also bring the charger. Whereas if I bring my iPad, my iPhone and iPad charger is the same thing. So there's convenience in either one. I'm not sure which I'll grab, but I will bring that so that I can watch Netflix or have a bigger screen or just do anything online that's not on my phone. I didn't do this last time, I don't think. Um, and honestly, I didn't feel like I watched needed or wanted to watch a bunch of movies like other women talk about, but I will bring it just as a nice to have in case I, I wish. Two remaining nice to haves that I'm bringing. One is, again, for baby pictures, I bought these on Amazon. It came in a pack of 40, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with the remaining ones. <laughs> but a little hello sticker that um, we'll write the name on once baby is born. I also like this idea for not only a picture, but also just for the nurses in the hospital because we don't know the name yet. So when the baby's born, they usually ask, does baby have a name? And we're, I think, gonna spend a day or so choosing the name because we're not quite sure exactly which one we're gonna choose. So on the card, on his, this is very specific, but I remember it vividly with Mia also, is we didn't, claim the name immediately. And so on her little um, bassinet in the hospital, they usually put a card that says the name and they just wrote baby girl because we didn't know what we were naming her yet. So this will be nice, not only for pictures, but for the nurses, because I'll just leave the sticker on the bassinet at the hospital so any nurse that comes in and greets the baby will know the name since it won't be on the hospital's card. Um, so super specific there, but I think it's cute. And then lastly, in my hospital bag, I'm gonna make sure I bring a toy for our little one. So currently our daughter is very much in love with Frozen. And so I wanted the baby to bring a gift home for her. So we need to have it with us at the hospital so that when we arrive home, he can be carrying this for her in, in the car seat. So I am bringing this, I'm, I need to wrap it um, and I'll probably do that once this video is over, but um, that is something that I am gonna bring with us so that we have it ready. And I think that's it. Let me check my list. I wrote a master list on my phone and I am gonna list out the packing list in the description box below so that you can um, kind of like copy paste it over to your own phone. I covered everything. Everything that was on my phone is currently either in the bag now or on my grab last minute list, which I will tape to the top of my bag. Oh wow, we did it. That is what I'm bringing to the hospital for baby number two. Write in the comments if you have other suggestions for people so that folks can look down and gather even more ideas while they're here. And otherwise, poke around my channel, look at the other videos I've posted already, and you can subscribe with the red button so that you see videos that I post in the future as well. But off I go, it's time to uh, close up this suitcase and move on to the next prep item. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks for tuning by today and I will see you in the next video.